Hi guys, I'm back with another tutorial. This isn't a smoky eye, this is just um, inspired by another YouTube guru that I saw this morning. Um, yeah. I don't know, I don't know what I was going to say. Um, I've done my face very natural, she has her face very natural. And then I've just took some hula bronzer on my cheeks and I'm leaving it as that very natural. Um, my eyebrows, I've tried to fill them in a little bit thicker and tried to get them more angled and shaped because that's what she likes. And now we're going to do the eye makeup. So I'm just going to get my e.l.f. primer. Put that on. Let's put that up. Now she used a MAC. I don't know if it was a paint pot or like a loose or a cream eyeshadow. But I don't have that. Um, it was a quite, um, what's the word, I don't know if metallic is the right word, but this is the closest shade I could get to it, um, and this is called Cinnamon Toast, this is just from my, when I did beauty, my makeup collection, so I've just got loads of light little eyeshadows. So I'm just going to get that an angle powder brush, and you're just going to put this all over your lid. This is a really basic, basic? basic makeup tutorial it looked really pretty I'm going to turn that slightly onto the brow bone and the same on the other eye in the video because she was doing a um, what's in my purse video I think that she usually mixes it like with a bit of a silvery colour so I've got these two loose powders this one's by MAC loose powders like what are they called dazzle not, not a dazzle dust but just like a a mineral thing she uses a more silver one so I'm going to see what this Avon one's like and this one is called Breeze. I'm going to take that on a pencil brush. I'm going to test it out my hand first, make sure it's not too blue. seems okay. So I'm just going to tap off the excess into the lid and just putting that like on the outer bit. I'm going to take a bigger brush just so it gets a bit more of the colour just to like highlight it just that little bit and so it's not just I'm just going to take my blending brush and blend that. Uh, it's not so harsh, the line, it's got like a little bit of a silver reflex to it. Then, on like a, it's not as much as a pencil, but more of a flat, like a really small round domed brush. I'm going to take the same colour and bring it under my eyelashes. This makes the under a really light colour. It's not too pigmented. You couldn't really tell what colour she had on underneath, but I was, it was like a little bit brighter. So I'm just going to put that underneath there. I'm not too sure if she did have um, a highlight underneath her eyebrow, but I'm just going to take Virgin from my Naked palette, just on the brush that comes with it. 
unpack that underneath. And then get my blending brush and just blend that out. Now she had very um, defined eyes, like eyeliner on the tight line, the waterline and on the top of the eyelashes so I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and then I'm going to do the top eyeliner I'm using my sleek eyeliner the gel one and once again I'm using it with my lip brush which has a hair on it now the eyeliner wasn't too thick, so I'm going to try my best to stay really close to the eyelashes. I think she had quite a curly wing, I'm not too sure, it might just be the shape of her eye that makes it look like that, so I'll try to create one Do a normal wing, I can't really do a curly one. I did the eyeliner thick on that one. And then okay, you wing. Like soup. And she just has eyeliner on the outside, on the top. Well that's what I could see anyways. Then she does have this eyeliner and this is what she used it's the Avon Super Shock gel eyeliner and you will put that on your waterline and then your tight line Now she has the world's most amazing eyelashes I've ever seen in my life and as you know I have none so if you have natural long eyelashes just make sure they're really nice and curled and lots of cups of mascara and you know, I've finished the look I'm going to just put on my fake eyelashes this is the Modla number 33 by Andrea and I'm going to put those on using my Revlon glue The good thing about this eyelash glue is when you put it onto the eyelashes you know, make sure you put more on the outside it shows up like a blue colour I don't know if you're going to be able to see that but so another quick curl of my eyelashes Hi guys, so my video camera cut out again whilst like I hadn't finished and I don't know why. Um, so I've just stuck on this set of eyelash 
well this eyelash on this eye I'm just going to do the other one now so this video might be in two parts which is going to be really annoying because it's not even that long but that's just because I don't have editing software I tried on my laptop yesterday and I don't have any so I'm just going to put some eyelash glue on here I wish I had pretty eyelashes like this, but you don't. And I'm just going to stick that on like that. I just want to fiddle to make sure that they stick on the same way. Like so. I'm just trying to make sure the front is stuck on. Now she had um, a very red lip in the video. I don't really like colour on my lips. It doesn't really suit me. Um, so the most like red I have is this Twist and Glide lip gloss. I like the packaging pretty crummy. Um, by Avon in. Mm, focus in coral so I'm just going to put that on and the more you put so to add to the annoying fact, my camera cut again whilst I was putting on my lip gloss. So yeah, this is the finished look. And the eyes might look a little bit more dramatic because I've got fake lashes. But yeah, I hope you like it guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!